Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to deal with constructive criticism. This vlog was actually inspired by a message I just had. Uh, it's like two o'clock in the morning here. I just finished a late night workout and figured I'd just do a vlog to make some content for the channel as well. But yeah, basically someone sent me a message asking me how I deal with criticism because he was actually on the start of his own fitness journey and he wanted to document his fitness journey online and share his progress as well but he was just worried about you know what people might say because he's a total beginner and he feels like he doesn't look uh fit enough or he just doesn't want to you know share his failures or his progress because he's worried about you know haters and i try to help him as best that i could. I guess that's how he found me from Instagram and I told him about my channel I told him like anytime in life no matter what you're doing anytime you try to do something great something you love uh, something you believe in there's always going to be someone that criticize you they might have something negative to say they might just hate on you because they're just miserable people or it could be constructive criticism and the constructive criticism that's actually a good thing um you need that you need that to develop that thick skin you need to have someone that can keep it real with you you can't constantly be surrounded by yes men that tell you what you want to hear the constructive criticism that's actually a good thing it's something you can learn from that could mold you and make you become a better person that could push you to become a better person that's actually a good and a positive thing but another type of criticism is just a negative type of criticism where they just are negative or they're just hating on you or talking bad about what you're trying to do. You know, you can be criticized no matter what you do. Even if you do nothing, people will still criticize you. So you might as well do what you love and focus on your goals no matter what it is. And a lot of times people who are negative like that they're miserable in their own life they got so much going on and sometimes being negative is you know how they vent and they see someone happy they see someone doing something they love something they wish they could do but they never took that action so they're gonna you know try to spread that negativity there are several things you can do about that you can just develop thick skin use it as a way to you know have thicker skin just not care brush it off or use it as motivation to become better and another thing you can do is just reward that hate with kindness <laughs> you know sometimes it might catch them off guard but the main thing you shouldn't do is just stoop to their level and waste your time just you know arguing with them because it just gets nowhere you know if they try to spread negativity in your life and you just brush it off at the end of the day you win and don't let them you know slow you down don't let them put your hate in your heart and yeah that's basically it i try not to talk about too much negativity on my channel because i try to keep the positive because i got so so much positivity on my channel and support from people i like and admire it's an awesome community i try not to waste time talking about the negativity and he asked me do i get much negativity i was actually surprised when i first started youtube a few years back when quarantine started i thought i would get more but i actually don't get so much every once in a blue moon i get some weird comment or a weird message and or i have people saying random things or i have people you know saying things uh comparing my lifts talking about how much stronger they are than me i usually just brush it off because they're just random gym bros being gym bros you know <laughs> um an example would be like once again i'm just using this as an example i try not to care or even give them a minute of my day but it, it works in this situation i had someone comment on one of my older videos it was just a video of me showing how to do one on push-ups and I had some random nobody comment on my video talking about how much stronger they are than me and how he could do 30 with one arm with ease. I'm like, cool story, man. Like, I just brushed it off <laughs> and I gave it a thumbs up. Like, 
I didn't even let it get to me. Or another thing, back in quarantine when I would do, you know, a lot of DIY workouts, I would have people comment about how much stronger or how much more they can lift. And I just brushed it off like, that's nice. It's not a big deal. I never said I was the strongest person. I'm far from it, nor do I care to be, you know. I just love fitness. I just love working out and I figure I share that and build an awesome community around that, which is what I'm doing now. But yeah, no matter what you do in life, you're gonna get criticized. So you might as well do something you love, uh, learn from the criticism or just brush it off. You know, people are gonna talk about you regardless. And if they're talking about you, that means you're doing something right. And I encourage everybody who wants to start their fitness journey if you ever want to share it do it i mean there's a lot of awesome people out there that will support you or no matter what it is you want to do um no matter what it is you want to share online whether it be whatever hobby you might have you know whatever your passions are just work on it improve on it and get better and better slowly it's not going to be a fast process you know some people grow a lot faster than others but as long as you love what you're doing and you're improving and you know you're not hurting anybody who cares what other things i said this once and i'll say it again um sometimes it's people you know in real life that can be some of your biggest haters and it could be people that you have never met that could be some of your biggest supporters and that's why i noticed when I first started. And that's why I notice now, you know, some people I've never met would send me like the greatest message ever. And I would save it and I would reread it sometimes because it means a lot to me. And I had people I've never met telling me because of me, they started working out and we still talk to this day here and there. And I always check up on them. So I love that part. And I can't let criticism, you know, stop me or make me scared to keep doing something I love. So yeah, man, if you're ever trying to start something, just do it, learn from it. People are gonna judge you regardless, so just brush it off, learn from it, or use it as motivation to get better. And that's what I try to tell them. But yeah, um, thanks for stopping by. Hopefully you got some value out of this. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care, be safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Oh yeah, I got this awesome tank top from my friends at Coffee with Pips. Uh, definitely check him out. I'll leave his channel link below if you haven't already. Uh, his channel is awesome. He does different type of food reviews. He goes to different restaurants, different bakeries, and he tries some of the most delicious looking food. And he takes you on like awesome food adventures. And he does different challenges. And sometimes he does different things where he tastes or eats hot peppers and he gets his friends to do it too so you can watch him suffer. He's an all around great guy, definitely hilarious and entertaining. So yeah, check him out. Thanks a lot bro for this awesome tank top. I just wore it to the gym and I figured I'd just give you a shout out. Uh, all right guys, take care, bye.